think you called Kevin. <laughs> it's scaring me. Why? <laughs> right, a quick look in the Disney character warehouse. No, it's not an optical illusion. That's actually the science. Welcome to the next video. I'll just cover the uh, reflectiveness of that because I'm stood in my pants making breakfast. So we're having uh, schmuckers, peanut butter on toast, and with some cinnamon swirl bread. I've just put some um, some coffee on, which I'm just going to pour. Dunkin' Donuts decaf, which Stacy introduced us to, and then we got some more at Walmart last night. Stop messing around, give me coffee. And we've got some. Oh, that'll have to be ours. They've not got much no. in it. And we've got some half and half. And there was me thinking it'd be me that needed the iron. What about Washington? That's all I'll say. What do you mean? Rest my case. We didn't get one in Washington. Something you don't see very often, Nick iron a t-shirt. Well, I was going to get you to do it, but what's the point? Good morning, old town. Not visiting you today. Well, not this morning anyway. This morning we are heading to Animal Kingdom. We've not been yet uh, so far this uh, trip. Um, we'll go in, see if we can do a little couple of rides, have some new snacks. Um, we had some toast for breakfast this morning, so we're not particularly starving, but um, we'll see how it goes. You need to find a garage first. It is, let me have a look what it is, 86 today, and a little bit cloudy actually, which I'm not too bothered about, because yesterday was almost unbearable when we went out in the afternoon. The weather is forecast to change though, it's going to drop by 10 degrees. Yes. For a week. Which again, I'm Still not, warm, I'm not too bothered degrees. about because it's been 34 and unbearable. Oh, I so. love it, I love it. <laughs> Even it's awful for walking around the parks in so much nicer when it's like 25. Um, so I don't mind that at all. Um, so it is one week and one day until the family arrive. Um, is that all? Yeah, this time next week they will be in the airport hotel and they'll fly tomorrow in a week's time. Um, they're flying Tui from Manchester to Melbourne. Uh, all being well, we're going to meet them at Melbourne Airport just to help them get the car and stuff like well, that. Well, that fed into some of the cases back yeah, because I suspect got, that they'll not fit them in. Well, they've got a RAV4, so we'll see. It's you know, a pretty decent, biggish car. Tell so. them to pack light. Um, oh, there's a garage here. So uh, we're just going to get some petrol and then head off to uh, Animal Kingdom. So we've come to a race track. Should we get one of those ice creams? I was just going to say, they've got lots of... Uh, nice things inside like slushies and oh there we go swirl world um so if you fancy cheap slushies or cheap ice creams come to a racetrack but no i don't want one yet not the same down here now tower of terror has gone is it Gone. Yeah, well, I think they were dismantling it last time we were here, or one of the times. It hadn't. It hadn't. It wasn't working mm -hmm. last time. The little sort of like cardboard cutout thing, and, and it went like that. The it? rocking yeah, thing. The rocking it probably thing. broke, and they just thought we can't bother replacing it. it. Cost money. It is actually a public holiday today for some people in America. So, what? Well, we're going to a park. Well, I did tell you this. Did you look at wait times? No, but we have said. So what? That's what we said. Just gotta go. There's always a, there's no there's no quiet days in Disney. No, there's not quiet days anymore in Disney anyway. So um, whatever, we'll just go and see. I want some of them fries that we had last time, Mr. Well, Mr. Fennell, something like that. Oh, I know. I want. To, I like to try new things when I come to the parks. But I have just remembered about that uh, fried rice box that we got. Oh, the one from the Yeti. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed that. No queues at the uh, gates. That's good straight through oh yes it's rather busy maybe they're employee cars the trams are running in animal kingdom but we're not going to get it we're just going to walk let's go here we go it's not too bad around here actually look at this family there <laughs> they've all come dressed as like safari people why not apparently uh, avatar drop times for lightning lanes are nine o'clock 11 30. what was the other time yeah. to like 2 p.m two or something or something like two that. and four so we're just waiting because it is almost half 11. it's 11 30 and guess what yeah right there's not any yet 
Might be like 30 seconds late or something. We'll keep checking because we're not checking on them. Um, Genie Plus is $35 today, but there's yeah. only like four or five rides in it, so why would you pay that? Well, $35 is, well, you there know, is a lot of availability. It's time saved for a lot of people if they just want to pay that. There is a lot of availability yeah. on, on Genie Plus today and quite soon as well. It's not like you wait until 7 or 8 yeah. tonight. So we'll keep checking. Do keep checking the uh, wait times for rides during the day, um, which you probably do anyway, but even in the short amount of time in half an hour, when we got here, it was 240 minutes for um, Flyer Passage and now it's 135. Yeah. So it's almost like halved already. So I uh, just don't believe him. Don't you think this reminds you of the best morning all the No, um, West yeah. is West. Hello, hello, buddy. I think you called Kevin. <laughs> she likes your shiny stuff. <laughs> so the smiling crocodile on the right of the um, Tree of Life does tacos. If you like tacos, pulled, pulled pork chicken and sweet corn tacos and chips and salsa. We've had quite a few tacos. Yeah, we've had a lot of tacos, so let's keep going. If you liked mac and cheese, um, just over the uh, way from the tacos is the uh, Eight Spoon Cafe. Cold pot jelly donut sandwich. Oh, a donut with uh, cold that pot. That looks like a donut. Oh, it does actually. Yeah. You want to try it? Sweet and savoury. You, you don't like sweet and savoury? I'll make an exception. Well, I would try that. What do you think? Right then, let's try that. But um, yeah, so they have baked macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese. That one's with pulled pork. So we're going to go for the pulled pot jelly donut sandwich. So it was six seventy nine on the board, but with tax it was seven twenty three. A little bit expensive for a burger. It's scaring me. Why? Because <laughs> it's just so unusual. It's got barbecue and jam. I know it's like jelly, but. I appreciate you doing this for me, Nick, because I know you don't like um, sweet There's and There's never uh, anything savory. I don't like, I just prefer... It's cold, the donut as well. I love sweet and savoury stuff. Oh, I would have preferred the donut to be warm, but... No, it's, it's quite cold, actually. I want to see you try it first. The pulled pork is a bit stringy, so I'm having to cut through. Alright, I'll go for this oh side, because it's God, quite small. All that jam, jam and pulled pork. Oh my God, it's like... Well, I'm not sure what it's like. Here we go. I don't even know where to start. God, that's weird. Weird. I bet I love it. It's nice, but it's weird. Blimey, it's warm today. Right, I'm gonna try this um, burger. Ooh. Yeah, a lot. So healthy. Mm. Mm. I love it. It's, I like it, but it's I unusual. I always like sweet and savoury. Let us know in the comments below, guys, what do you think? Sweet and savoury, yes or no? It's a no from me. For me, that was a big success. I loved that. Not my favourite. <laughs> We're and nice, but it wasn't some hard chews again. It's like the, well, those donuts we had the other day with bacon and peanut butter on. Beautiful. That weren't my favourite either. This is what I call Nick all the time. I think that's Scrooge McDuck down there. I think that's Scrooge McDuck. Oh, I think that's Scrooge McDuck too. Right, we're going to Zurich Sweet Shop. Our friend Hannah is texting us treats and things and snacks to have a look at. She says there's some nice ones in here. Hannah was right. They've got nice sweet treats here. Minnie Mouse chocolate cupcake. Oh, look at the Mickey Easter Mouse bunny. one. Oh, it's a Rice Krispie. I would have that. Rice Krispie Easter Bunny. My Rice Krispie um, Mickey. What is that? Gourmet caramel apple. Eleven ninety nine. That's what we're going for. A giant orange bird cookie. This is what Hannah's told us to get. Five dollars ninety nine. That looks well nice as well. What's that? It's a small cereal treat bar. So you can get the orange cookie one. It's a sugar cookie actually. It has an orange taste apparently. Oh, this one is just a jumbo Mickey. I presume it's pineapple flavored. So many I want. No, it's not an optical illusion. That's actually the size. <laughs> Apparently it's got an orange flavour. So. Is it sugar cookie then? It's sugar cookie. Right. Well, it looks soft. Well, yeah, it's just a sugar cookie, but right. it's nice. Let's find a shadow. So um, eat it in. I'm going to some of this chocolate, and I already know I'm going to need a coffee now. You're in the sun, you're going to melt the chocolate. Split it in half. There we go. I might wait until we find a coffee. What do you think? 
Here's yours. Oh no, I've had a couple of bites already. So. Well, that's yours as well. Yeah. You need a small bit. This will be fine. It's not the softest mm. sugar cookie, but it's nice. Jaffers. Mmm. Really good. Verdict. It's not like a sugar cookie that you know is a sugar cookie. It's more like a almost like a pastry um, shortbread, but soft and moist. Just about to eat, it, eat an eye. Mm. So there's the safaris, there's the lightning lane entrance there, and there is the normal entrance there. All the way down there. How's it going on it? Still enjoying your cookie? Yeah, a bit sick now though. Right, we figured we want to sit somewhere cool, and the only way to do that today is to go and watch a show. The Lion King show is almost going back to Pandora, the queue is that massive. So we're going to head towards um, Finding Nemo. We saw that years ago. Um, we were soaking wet when we watched it, so we weren't really paying much attention. So we're going to head over there now, hopefully the queues aren't massive. The next show is at 1 o'clock, it's currently quarter past 12, so there's a good chance of getting on. Holy crap. We're walking through Pandora, we haven't even got there yet, we're still kind of half in Africa. And that is the end of the line for Flyer Passage. Let's get in queue. Uh, I don't think so. If you're new to uh, Pandora in Animal Kingdom, you must experience it at night. I'm just showing you the floor because all this is lit up on a night. Regular visitors will be aware, but you must come and do Pandora at night. It's a whole different theme park, isn't it? It's like all bioluminescent, and it just it's just so nice to walk around it on an evening, isn't it? And then go to the Nomad Lounge for a drink. Took a diversion, we were passing tiffins in the Nomad Lounge. Well, thought, just as I was saying it on the last seat, yeah. I thought, well, why not just go in? I know, I know they do some nice sort of spicy dishes in there, and it'd be nice to have a cocktail to cool down. So we queued at the door. But I'd, already, I'd already looked on the phone what the wait, the walk-up wait times were, and it was 50 minutes. Went to the woman at the door, and she said, oh, it's 75. So I said, no, I'll give it a miss. I had it ready on my phone to submit. Submitted it, and it's now 35. So hopefully we're going to get in there soon. We've never, we've never been in the Nomad Land before, have we? No, we've been, been in Tiffins and passed the Nomad Land. No, we've been in Tiffins. We have. We have. Oh, once. was it Tiffins or Tusca? No, we've been in Tiffins. Tiffins. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was the Nomad that the Barry and Maxine had that yeah. really hot spicy thing that they were sat outside. Just need a nice, refreshing, cool drink or a coffee. Cocktail. We've got right. sat down. We finally got our table. Now, we got a notification about half an hour ago saying that there was a change to our dining notification. When I opened the app, there was nothing there, and it still was showing in my, my tip day. So we ignored it. After about another half an hour, we went and chased it, and she said, oh, you didn't come when you were called. So when you're joining the walk-up, it's always better to just go up and ask her. If, uh, when your time gets there, yeah. Yeah, as long as the wait time's yeah. less. Or just look out for any rogue notifications. On mine, it told me, but when I went in, it was blank. So, so we waited an extra sort of 20 minutes, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, it wasn't too bad, and they got sat down pretty much, like you said, after 20 minutes. So we're here, and we're going to go from the Nomad Lounge special menu. We're going to get, um, I've gone for smoked pork ribs. I hope you enjoy them. Come with sweet soy glaze and apple jicama slaw. And you've gone for the cauliflower, which is there. The cauliflower. Crispy fried cauliflower. What's that say? Mancurian sauce and green onion. And we're going to share. Now, I did ask for a green shimmering margarita, which was a 50th thing, but because 50th has ended now, the Disney IT people have not took it off the app, so it's making me something that's very similar. I don't know what it's called. They just in the process it sounds very, it probably sounds very nice. of getting all the 100th um, drinks added yeah. to the menu. You can just leave it on and call it 100. Right, Nick's cocktail is here, and it's got some kind of fiery berries on the top. Peppercorns. The uh, peppercorns. The waiter said he encouraged you to drink it with a, um, through the straw. Yeah, I've just tried the top. It tastes like something you wash a sink with. Yeah, Nick completely ignored him and tried it and got all the uh, peppercorns in his gob. It still tastes like a sink. That is vile. Oh dear. Go on, give it a sip. It's not the greatest cup. It's absolutely rank. I don't know what it is, but they need to get that off the menu if it's even on it. It's got a bitter, vile, caustic, soldery taste, doesn't it? So this is um, the cauliflower. cauliflower. Uh, let me read it again. Um, crispy fried cauliflower, Mancunian sauce, and Mancunian sauce. I'm sure he's done to that. So uh, taste. Mm. I have noticed that this entire trip has just been food and drink. Today, I, because the pack's so busy, so we're just having food and food. Well, we would have eaten anyway, but... Yeah. Right, let me try that. It almost looks like, um, like orange chicken. I just realised I've dipped it in my sauce. 
Well, why? I'm thinking that other sauce that came with that. Mm. Oh, that's nice. It's that's almost like, you know what it tastes like? You know when you have a cup of soup and you get the strong powder at the bottom? Yeah. Of a cup of soup. That's what it tastes like. Let me try these ribs. Honey chili glazed. Oh no, they, that was the pork belly. These are smoked pork ribs, sweet soy sauce glazed. They look like they've got plenty of meat on them. Sometimes when you get ribs, it's just bone and a bit of skin. Good. Ooh. Spicy. It tastes like something that you get from a smokehouse. Right. Mm. Let me try them now. So, Nick's trying these. Waiter did come around and ask what Nick thought to his um, cocktail, and he said it wasn't his favourite because the waiter did actually recommend that. And it is rank, I've tried it myself. It's disgusting. The worst thing I've ever tasted. So, he's going to swap it out for something more sweet. However, they're good out there. Definitely somewhere from a smokehouse. Very barbecuey, very smoky, and delicious. Mm. Cocktail number two. It's sweet, it's watermelon, it's alcoholic. And it's very refreshing. Much better. Yeah. Even though it looks exactly the same, it's probably the same one. It's just took a bit of corns on it. Tell me what they're called. Wood Sprite. Oh, you, you just Wood Sprite. You Said that. Could just get like a few loads of them, just throw them up. <laughs> Didn't work very well. It did. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. The light up. Beautiful. Very fun door, Beautiful. Too. Come here and look at this. Pandora uh, colour changing diffuser. That's like the one we saw the other day, the Mickey and Minnie, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, a Pandora pop socket. I do like a pop socket. I've got one on my phone already though. There's one lit up there. So that like lights that. up all the different colours, look. I'm not sure it goes with anything that we've got. Well, you turn it off and then it would. Lights up. If you want it to go, just leave it turned off. It's blacks and grey. You said it's heavy. Really heavy. I know I'm back on cups again, but I love this up cup. Is that the, um, the Scout? Russell. Russell, that's yeah, it. Yeah, and his look dog. At, look at the price of that. Five. It it's 79 99 79 99 It weighs, it's right thick though. It's not something you wear in Florida. Really heavy. These must be on clearance. $1.50 for that. No. It were more than that. Oh, yeah. when, it were more than that when we got those big ones years ago. A dollar for the small one. And then one three dollars for the Oh no, it's one fifty for that one and three dollars for that one. But what's the small one? That's the small one. Where's the medium? Oh no the idea. Medium. The small one, I don't think they've got any. Oh well, I don't need a bag anyway. Blue throated macaw. This is a really cool species that you see right here. There's and I'll let you who else we have. Hanging out over here with Keegan, we have another blue throated macaw. That's Deluca. She's one of our newer birds out of here. A lot of them are doing some extra loops out here. It is a beautiful day here. I didn't expect here. all them to come out. Neither we just walking away. Definitely right, we're bailing. Because it's so busy, it is, what day is it? Easter Friday? Good Friday. Good Friday. Uh, the parks are so busy, like Avatar's gone up to 225 minutes. Um, so we may come back later on this evening where we know if we come back in an evening that the ride times are obviously exaggerated because they're trying to clear the park out. It's just been nice, she's having a mooch around, stuffing herself silly. Again. Trying cocktails, all yeah. because. So the plan is now, we're going to go to the um, premium outlets at Vineland, have a look at the character warehouse, see if there's any of the 50th merch made it in there yet. I think wallet. it's a, too, a bit too soon. Yeah, maybe. And well, um, have a look at our old favourite, the um, Air Apostle shop. Peacock 119. What, what? one for? Oh, Peacock 114. <laughs> well, then I'll be walking up bloody aisles. I always, I always try to remember where we've parked in creative ways. Never like managed. I was thinking of a peacock in my head when I saw that we're in Peacock. Yeah, but there's 15 bays to Peacock. But I thought we're in 114. The, um, the car locator app built into the My Disney Experience app is pretty crap, to be honest. I mean, it tells you, it remembers the bay, but it doesn't actually navigate you to your it's car. It's just easy to take a photo on your phone, although we never yeah, do. We never, Look we at this um, van here, or this truck. There's a column over here. Looks like some out of Dukes of Hazard. Look how high it is. Why would you need something like that? I don't know, but when we were driving on the motorway yesterday, a one got too close to a rock lorry and they were having a bit of a yeah. on the motorway. What about that for our next trip? Mm, I like that, it's very big. 
Where will we check it? And I bet it's got aircon as well. It's got an aircon unit on top. The, all the RVs in America have. The only problem is with these things, you pay from each mile as well. And it takes up three car parking spaces there, look. I wonder if Disney will charge you for three. I don't know. I'd love to have a look inside it. Have a, don't have a nosy. No. There might be some sat there. Go on. There we go. Where? There. I can see it. It's the one with the Virginia plate. 97. I can feel every degree. Every degree of that, I'm to absolutely sweltering. What I'd like to know is sometimes when you're watching Disney vloggers, let's say for example, uh, Victoria from Disney in detail, how does she walk around the parks with perfect makeup and no sweat on her? And I walk around the park with like a dribbling mess when it's sweaty. You walk around like you're melting. <laughs> I do. Like a, wax, like a wax dummy that's I'm dribbling. Like, oh, oh, oh. And you see she other, must have to reapply it. You see other Disney vloggers just walking around like it's nothing. And I'm like... Yeah, but they're used to it. They're mess. acclimatized. Well, People that live here are acclimatized to it. We we can last about, I mean, 96, 97 is a bit extreme and it's at, it is going to cool down in the next few days and it's going to be cool for the next week, which we are glad about. Unfortunately, we're not going to see any sun and we're going to see some rain, but I don't mind Florida rain. It lasts an hour and then it's it's nice and warm again. I need to put this aircon up. I'm baking. I just started the vlog and caught them on it then and I was just about to say I wonder if they've stopped changing the signs above the roads from the um, purple the, to blue the purple um, and red ones to the to the greeny greeny blue ones I thought they were changing and then Dukes of Adder just flew past <laughs> traffic on the I-4 as usual um, Google has warned us we've ignored it as usual the fog brings the loom as well yeah the aerofoil is that what they call it here? No, I think that's just the um, the Paris one. Paris one. Uh, so yeah, four minute four minute drive, then we're getting off, and then the premium mallets are just literally across from Disney Springs on the right hand side. Lee's getting a bit stressed because it's a merge lane, and he likes to get in early. And I've just said, go to the very end, go to the very end, and he gets a bit flappy, don't you? No, I just like to get in. There we go. So See, the person's let me across. If you'd have gone across when you wanted to, you'd have been half a mile back. Well, that was effortless. No traffic at all. It's a red. You can go right on a red. Oh, no. Make it sure. Um, we're going to park round the other side. We always come in from the I-4 entrance, but the parking's a lot better at the other side of the building. It's strange because I'm looking, but there's nothing I need, but you never know. That usually never stops you. You never know. Might find a couple of t-shirts no in Aeropostale. No bags. Right, we've come around the right-hand side of the building. We're going to park in the multi-storey. Uh, that way the car's not stifling hot when we get back into it. Right, shan't be parking in there. It's now charged parking, it's not free anymore, so it's paid parking, $10 for parking in the multi-storey. And then employees park on floors three and four, so you need to do a UE and park where we usually park. They're always putting prices up on something, aren't they? Trying to make a, a fast buck out of something mm. that used to be free. Business, in it? Right, this is where everybody that didn't want to pay the $10 wants to park. Because it's absolutely round, unless you do valet parking behind us. Maybe we should have just stopped him today. Maybe. Over at the pool. Maybe. Are you looking? Yeah. New beauty. Just spotted one. We just literally drove one. around four people across three lanes <laughs> and Lee saw one as we were just exiting the Ooh. car park. The other three people are all still waiting over there for spaces to become free. Let's go. Yay. You've already found something you like. Yep. <laughs> Buy one, get two free. <laughs> I like that one as well. Usually don't have the, um... That one would suit you as well. I can't help myself. <sighs> I like that one. Don't want to try it. Yeah, I like that one. So far, kind of. I told you I didn't need anything. No more clothes. Yeah, but we have got a right bargain. Go so, on. this came to about $200 before any of the buy one get one free discounts. I then went onto the Simons website, looked for the premium outlets vinyl, and got the coupon code, got another $10 off. So in the end, all that, about 10 or 11 items of clothing, cost us about $132, including tax. Right, a quick look in the Disney character warehouse before we head off for a coffee somewhere. Aww. Some small Disney um, Christmas Crocs. Oh, fur lined as well for winter. That is metal. Well, it looks it? like plastic. Yeah, what was it? Um, a, a baking thing. A tin to cook a cake or something. Disney holiday Crocs and um, stockings as well. Fig pins are on sale. $24.99 doesn't say what the discount is though. So I presume that's worth the original price. And they've got the uh, mini They've got Tinkerbell. Um, I think that's the one from um, Maleficent, from um, Phil Maleficent. You're trying you to find out what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I just read the label. 
about this. Who for you? Disgusting. Matt would look all right in that. Disgusting. Stupid, wouldn't he? Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's. Um, I always say Captain America when I see like coloured like that. I can't imagine anybody wants to wear it like. No. And that's why it's how much is that? Seventy four ninety nine. That's a bargain to say it's leather. It's very similar to the one that I had for Christmas, yeah. isn't it? With the uh, the holiday stockings and candy canes on it. Nineteen ninety nine. How much? That's extra small and all. That's massive. Unfortunately, there's no fiftieth merch. They've still got Christmas yeah. and Halloween from last year. Maybe in six months' time, the fiftieth yeah. stuff will be in here. Some more Crocs. Star Wars. Twenty nine ninety nine. Why don't you get yourself a pair? Nick? I don't wear slippers. I don't wear. Not I don't wear flip flops either. Or Crocs. Crocs. No. Found a bit of fiftieth merch. There you go. You. There's a bag for you. Donald Dooney and Burke. Let's have a look how much this is. $158 was $318. And is it some kind of like big brand? I've no idea, I've never heard of it. You've just said Dooney and Burke. I know, but I've still never heard of it. I bet you're Janina. So I'll let you there. Mm, must be a thing. I've never heard of it either. Where do you put, if you put your tea light in there, yeah. where does your oil go? You can't go in there because it'll just evaporate straight away. It's just a tea light holder, so it makes shapes on your wall. Are you sure? Boogie boogie. It is. Boogie Boogie Candy Balls. Bloody hell, they weigh a ton. They're not plastic, they're made of pot. Like okay. porcelain. $14.99, Oogie Boogie. They're probably worth it because of what they're made of. What were they? $40. I always fancied a holiday Christmas tree tra uh, train set around my Christmas tree. Don't you like the monorail one? Yeah, I do, but I quite like that. Right, look. There's no, you need three of them for our tree. Goofy, uh, not Goofy, sorry, Pluto. I said you need three of them for our tree. Join them all together. 38 pieces. Goes around your Christmas tree, it's quite heavy. $79.99. It does weigh a ton actually. These aren't bad at all. $9.99, originally $34.99. That looks like Captain Marvel again, all the same colours and Big things Thunder, Captain Marvel. Oh no, that's Big Thunder uh, Railroad. 50th. So what's this one though? That must be Captain Marvel, it's gotta be. No, it's um it's one of those like in the Conductors. parade conductor oh, yeah. like so I think these are all the 50th stuff. 50th? Oh no, that's not. It but they're not like bad for $9.99. Why do they call them plushies? I don't know. 50th Mickey ears, how much of them? Um, oh, they're worth $34.99, I don't say. I think Mickey ears are one of the things that come in and out so quickly, like, come in the hundreds and go out quickly. Another onesie, I'm not a fan of onesies. Bloody hell, $19.99, that's not bad. Yeah, for a giant What's and all. What's this? That's a thing from Star Wars. Oh, it's an advent calendar. What thing? Ooh. Chocolate's really a bit manky. You don't usually see advent calendars over here, though, do you? No. But what is it from Star Wars? It's the, um... Oh, I know what it is. The, the sand yeah. people thingamajig. I won't get that because the sun's like already that, opened whatever them. Whatever it is. What's oh, a tea towel? Kitchen tea towel, $7.99. A tea towel? Tea towel. Make your own cards. Yeah, look, that's horrible. That'll be cheap enough. How much other? No idea. $11.99. Laughing all the way. What's some more here. Yeah. What are they? Box of surprises. 12 days of Christmas. 1999. Oh, little um, like hair clips and stuff. Uh, Holiday Lodge candle, 9.99. Was 34.99. Weighs a ton. It smells of. Oh, wait a minute. It smells of. A Holiday Lodge? No. It smells. It smells of Wilderness Lodge. You know, that wood smell yeah, yeah. of Wilderness Lodge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to smell it because it's kind of been under the paper, but if you rub it, it smells just like Wilderness Lodge, almost cinnamon, but very woody. Next, just looking at this. <laughs> Next stop, we're parched. So we're going to call it Wilder Coffee. I'm hoping that he does icy drinks because I really, really want something I like want a like a slush puppy, mango slush puppy or something <laughs> like that, or a slushy. Uh, Lee wants an iced coffee and then we're gonna go back and maybe chill for an hour yeah. and then decide what we're gonna to do tonight. I'm in favor of going to the tavern in Old Town Celebration. Lee, want, Lee wants to try Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, which is just around the corner. I was but just looking at that for afterwards. We've got free beer and free pretzels. No, 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 it's just a free pretzel. Eh? Well, what, what's this beer then? This is from stopping with cel at the Celebration Suites. You get one of those. So we've actually got two because we've got, we we've stayed, stayed there twice. twice. You get a free pretzel, um, sugar or normal. And home of the cheapest and coldest beer in Old Town. Yeah. We'll put that to the test. Right, we're just about to pull in after about a 15 to 20 minute wait for 0.5 of a mile. Oh, we better Both have absolutely gagging. coffee. <gasps> oh my God. What? Racetrack. Well, if... <laughs> 
Let's see. Now then, we're, 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 if we cross that lane, we're not going to be able to get back across. Now we know we can get what we need there, slushies and ice creams, or potential iced coffee from there. I fancy an iced coffee, I really do. I know what I want, an ice cream now, sit with gummies on it. Sit in his little, uh, we can get one afterwards. Well, I suppose. Sit in his little garden. Best coffee in town, best tea in town. No music playing. Oh, no music playing, no, he's not got any, um, no. Oh, you can even get macaroni and cheese here. I didn't really realise he had a bird. I just walked past and it said hello. Hello, hello. It said to you. It spoke. Just waiting for our iced coffees to come out, just having a relax here in the garden. Just spotted a um, Star Wars character there from the, um, the prequels. Here it is, decaf iced coffee. I've got what you gone for. Mm. Oh my God. That is the most amazing smoothie. I've ever had. What is it? Mango? Orange mango smoothie. Okay. It's not creamy. It's not. Icy. I wasn't interested it's, in trying it until now you've said that. It's like it's super sweet and super fruity. Do you know what I mean? It's like sherbet or something, is it? It's like gorgeous. I want to try all the other flavors now that he's got. That is amazing. It reminds me of something. I don't know what. Yeah, my frigging drink. Give it back. Another lovely little chill at our world of coffee. We've not seen David today, the owner. Um, I was just saying to Nick, I wonder how he managed to get like all this um, out here. Like, because obviously none of, the other, none of the other shops have got anything, but he's got all this like little garden area. And I love how you can just sit here in the middle of a car park, but it just feels so chilled and like in a little oasis. I want another. Are you having a sugar coma yet? Uh, no, not really, but I do want another. I'm gagging for a drink, I'm really thirsty today. Let's go back to the celebration so we can have a root beer. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. What's that chair? Right, we're going to head back to the hotel now. Celebration suite. Just chill out for a couple of hours. Oh, it's a shame not to be having a bit of a shop in all these oh, shops. Oh, God, no, it's too hot. It's 92 degrees No, but degrees what about now. all those bargains that are, like, Don't waiting to any. be bought? Don't need any. Only because you've got some stuff today. I did actually get three new outfits today. Although I wasn't intending on buying anything. But you know what? Every day is best. You only live once, so... Yep. Um, and I got a pink top as well. I'll show you. I did. And pink, and pink shorts. No, I didn't get any pink shorts. No, they eh? no, did. They were uh, red. They're not. Have you got them? Wait a minute. Have you got them? Wait a minute. I'm just going. Oh, I'll tell you something. Um, what we do. What we're waiting do. for. As I'm going out of Lake. Where are we? Lake Bonavista. Oh, Vista. I want to try the Irish yeah, bar there. I was going to say, put that on our list. So, this place here, we've seen it every time we've been to um, Lake Bonavista, and there's an Irish bar at the back as you, walk, as you drive out near the roundabout, and it's called Farrell's. We always or say ferals. we should try that at some point, but we never ever do. Well, let's go there tonight then. Mm, we'll see how I'm feeling. At the Frankie, moment, I'm Frankie full. Ferals it is. At the moment, I'm full. There we go. Fish, chips. Oh my god, they do fish and chips. Oh. Salads, pasta, wings, and steak. Not hungry yet, but yeah. Burger maybe. Joe's. Maybe. Right, it's popped us out onto the 192. That's where we went in um, last April. And you can buy all the different orange juice. We're just driving slowly, just to see if there's any kind of restaurants that we've never been to. There's the flea market that we went into. Yeah, I don't really want to go back there again either. No, it was all right for um, Disney stuff. Uh, hot and juicy crawfish, or crayfish, Domino's. What's an Indian there, uh, Indian cuisine? I think after trying that Indian the other day, I think that's always going to be the go-to. The rock chip. Amber Indian. Uh, not much there. Nothing at all in this, this bit. church is where you like go and dance and stuff? I don't think so. Well, it's called the Rock Church. This bit here is undeveloped, Marker 10 on the 192. We're heading west. Uh, Old Town will be on the left-hand side ahead. In fact, is, is it... Want to drive a tank? Tankamerica.com. Forget the restaurants, we'll just look at friggin' signs. Bring any restaurants? I know. Want to drive, drive a, a tank. tank? There you go. You might find a coupon in the book. Yeah. And there's a hotel that's actually closed down there. Somewhere on the 192, there was a hotel that was filmed in the film, uh, The Florida Project. It was filmed on the 192, actually, in one of the motels. Coming up on the right is where we went last year, before we went in the haunted house. It that was horrible, like Mexican. In, horrible Mexican that we had. Yeah, well, was it not horrible? It I was horrible. It was, okay. it was horrible. So we're actually back at our hotel. Oh, Salago Suites, that comes up really cheap, actually, on, um, on um, TripAdvisor and... Um, 
what they call it, bookings.com. Do you know where you're going? Yeah. You just look out for new places. McDonald's, Chinese and Japanese buffet. I don't ever fancy a Chinese buffet. Because you just don't know how long the food's oh, actually been out. Senor Tacos. Yeah, Senor Tacos. A complete rip-off of Senor Frogs, but absolutely nothing like it at all. A new concept coming soon. Not a, not a nice place, can't recommend that. And there's Machine Gun America. A lot of, a few people have asked us to try Machine, Machine Gun America for the vlog. But no, it's not, it's not our thing, I'm afraid. Our thing. Guns are not our thing, I'm afraid. Lots of food trucks. Ian's Burgers, or Land's Burgers, and Mexican food. And we're actually back at our hotel, right there. Just Celebration Suites. There is a Denny's, which I do like. If you've never tried Denny's, I do like. Their coffee's great. Um, but we like to try new things. It's, a, it's just another chain it's restaurant. Chain, We've I'll, done all the chains. Yeah, but Denny's is nice for like breakfast and stuff. I said Frankie, Frankie Farrell. Frankie Farnell's for tonight, yeah, mate. Yeah, she went new. She went new. Or Joe's Crab Shack. It, we have looked at it on TripAdvisor. It gets good reviews, the Irish place. Four out of five. Mm -hmm. It's a fair few hours later. What time is it now? Um, ten past eight. <gasps> ten past eight. We've just discovered our beds have got these on them. And the TV has the same round it as well. So we're ready now. Nice outfit. Well, where's your pink shorts? As we were going for, uh, to a Irish, pub. Irish bar, I thought I'd put my green top on what I got today. Well, I made the effort as well. I went for red. Let's go. It's very nicely warm outside. Very nicely warm. Very nicely warm. It's a bit too warm, actually. The sun's going down fuming. now, obviously, and um, it's just a nice temperature. Don't need my um, fans tonight. So you brought it anyway. So, well, I've, 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 to be honest, because I've been editing and stuff, I still thought, I thought it was light outside. Came outside and I'm like, oh, it's dark. Hi, Old Town. Oh, We're not coming to you tonight. Bombatron, no. Bombatron. They like these blue lights, don't they? Yeah. Right, let's go. So we're heading out to that um, Frankie Fennell's, I think it's called, Irish Bar. It's Fra only... Is it Farnell's? Farnell's, like Fennell's, something like that. It's only 10 minutes away from Old Town Kissimmee. Um, it's all lit up there, as you can see. Well, not really, but um, that's the Celebration Suites where we just left. Um, so I do like the location of this Celebration Suites. It's kind of central to everything. Like, if you wanted to go nip to Celebration tomorrow for coffee, it's just like five miles away. Uh, Denny's across the street, as Nick showed you earlier. Three miles to Disney. Three miles to Disney, not far from International Drive, really. Well, I mean, International Drive actually starts just around this corner. Yeah. So, uh, Although nice. it's a long way to Universal. Probably, Because yeah. International Drive is about 30 miles long, so. To be fair, if you're not staying on International Drive, everywhere is kind of a, a, a long while to get to Universal, especially if you've gone to I-4. The 192 has got a lot more restaurant choices. International yeah. Drive's got like a short strip, of like dense restaurants. The 192 literally is like 15, 20 miles of it, mm. all the same. Continue Nick's look for new place. Volcano Hot Pot and Barbecue. Oh, that's on his list. Just there. That's yeah, walking right. distance. Yep. So that's one that we can do. Tattoo piercing, sushi and Thai. What's this? Logan's Roadhouse. Never done that before. Logan's? Yeah. Gaylord Palms Hotel, all lit up. I'm determined to get there one day on evening this trip. It'll be very interesting to see how busy this is. It is a Friday evening, so um, probably busier than normal, but we're not really in sort we're of struggling. a... struggling. You can always get a table outside. Well, it seems to true. be less busy out here. It's not really like a tourist um, destination. I can see a lot of people. Mm. Well, there's one good thing. They have gin and tonic, so uh, it's definitely an Irish bar. So, um, kind of busy this side. We came in the wrong door. Yeah, we came in the wrong door. We, we, um, so we're just going to be seated and you can get fish and chips here. One large fillet of Atlantic cod dipped in our own special batter and deep fried to a golden brown served with steak, fries and coleslaw. What are you looking at? Shepherd's pie for me. Shepherd's pie? Yep. Are we sharing then? I'm going for salad. No then. Ooh, fish sandwich. So fresh Atlantic cod with lettuce and tomato on a toasted bun with a side of tartar sauce. Tartar like ta sauce? Like a fish butty. Well, yeah, it is really. I'll show you the rest of the house specialities. So there's rib dinner, shepherd's pie, bangers and mash, the fish and chips, a teriyaki uh, chicken, not quite uh, Irish, and a grilled salmon. So uh, definitely some um, Irish kind of English sort of stuff there. And the do Guinness as well. Yeah, do Guinness. And it looks like it's quite cheap on the alcohol because mm -hmm. Blue Moon is 625 
five. It's usually about nine to twelve dollars, no matter anywhere you eat in Florida. Right, I went for the fish sandwich, which I kind of knew wasn't going to be like a fish butty from the description because I went for it fried, I think, or grilled. Sorry, it's grilled. Um, but What's that tin of mackerel? <laughs> Um, I'm interested to see what your um, cottage pie is like. Mmm, nice. Good. Really nice. Needs some gravy, but it's nice. What was the verdict? Although when mine came out, oh, I looked like, Ugh. it was actually really, really nice. And I've been, I've had a little bit of Nick's shepherd's pie as well, and that was very nice too. Is it shepherd's or cottage? It was shepherd's. Very nice, actually. But it was a bit strange because it's got uh, beef and lamb in it, which makes it cottage and shepherd. Yeah. And it, it was like they put the meat in the dish straight out of a tin and then piped the potatoes on and put the cheese on. That's nice. There was no gravy, but it was bloody gorgeous. I feel like it's not kind of, it doesn't come across as authentic Irish at all. No, it's like it's somebody like, thought, we're missing an Irish bar on Lake Buena Vista, yeah. let's open one. Yeah, definitely. But it was nice. I wouldn't rush back, but it's nice. Unless the Guinness sign makes it Irish. How does it compare to Finnegan's or Raglan Road? Well, I was going to give my verdict, and in my verdict was going to be a, a, a comparison of those. You kind of get a little bit spoiled when you've been to like Finnegan's in um, Universal and Raglan Road and Disney Springs, because they are, even though they are American Irish, it's just so good. Um, there was nothing particularly bad about that. The food was actually really nice. I just, I don't know. It just the place has got no atmosphere. No, there's no atmosphere, and it kind of just feels like any American bar and, and any American diner. There's Once nothing. you get, I mean, outside, it it looks Irish. There's nothing. You walk through the door. The only thing Irish in here is that green tinsel behind your head and that Guinness sign above your shoulder. And that's it. it. Was nice food, but I won't come back and oh, that water tastes like um, sewers. Ninety percent of the menu is actually American. Yeah. There's only about five dishes that actually are, are like authentic Irish dishes, like shepherd's pie and... We like they didn't have new, Irish stew on, no, did they? We like to try new places. Sometimes it's a win, sometimes a fail. Yeah. Yeah. Food was a win, because it was nice. I would come back for the food. The atmosphere... Mm, yeah, but if I was in Orlando and I was desperate for some shepherd's pie, I would come back for that. One of the most frustrating things about driving in Florida is that whenever you turn in red on a left, you wait friggin' ages. Whenever you turn in a left on a red. I just said that. I said it wrong way around. What did I say? Whenever you turn in red on a left. Whatever. You know what I meant. Must have been that beer I've had. It takes forever. Literally, when we were coming out from the uh, hotel, we took 10 minutes to get out. We've been here for 10, 15 minutes now. Right, well, we're just waiting to turn left on another friggin' red. We're going which down. is now going. We've just seen this place, World Food Trucks. So I've just Googled it, and it's got like a hundred different food trucks at the back of it. Um, I'm just saying to Lee though, I'm sick to the back teeth of eating now. So tomorrow, we're not gonna go there, we're gonna put it on the list for when the oldies come. Um, but tomorrow, we're just gonna have like um, toast and fruit for breakfast, and then we're gonna go away and do some non-parky things, what we're gonna do? Non-foody things. Non-foody, non-parky things. We'll probably be sat in the hotel all day. No, your our friend Sandra and Steve bought you a birthday gift. Yes, it's like a um, you get to see like an um, a, a, like a, an old house from what I can gather. She did actually give us a food voucher as well though, and it's up near it, so we might have to just break yeah, that. We'll, and we'll have a, it's just a sandwich. We'll need some lunch. Yeah, we'll just have a sandwich. And this coffee hat place here on Celebration Suites is still open now at half past nine. Yeah, So it and it was open when we got up this morning as well. And right in front of us is the Vomitron, and there's people on it. You have arrived. Thank you. Yeah, it's making me want to vom looking at it. There we go. Let us oh, know in the comments no thanks. if you've ever been on that. Right, we're back in the room. And as I was saying, I won't go there again. My shirt's popping on. Sick of eating. I'm sick of it. Oh, I'm going to say, shut up. Oh. Um, you meant to go there. <laughs> we just needed to go just to fill like the last latter half of the vlog up yeah, so we, we hadn't eaten. Well, I said we could have gone for a mooch around um, Old Town Kiss Me. And you know how that would have ended. We've been in Saki Bar again. We've been for a few years seeing that um, Irish bar and wanting to try it. So we've tried it now. As I said before, some places are a hit, some places are a miss. It was alright. I'd miss it next back. time. I wouldn't go back. It wasn't Irish, it wasn't authentic, it wasn't... At least we know The food now. was amazing, and if I wanted a shepherd's pie, I would go back there. Well, it was I wouldn't say it was amazing. It oh, was, I think it, it was. was nice. It was tinned minced beef in the bottom with piped 
mashed potatoes on it, but it had no gravy and it had cheese, but it tasted really nice. I won't go back. No. Wouldn't. No. Let us know if you've been there. Well, you had a tin of kippers on, on a sandwich. Uh, it was cod, actually. Um, so, last test. I'm joking. Ooh. You have got to be joking. A little bit of sweet. No wonder you've got like Jabba the Hutt neck. Well, thanks for watching today, guys. It's been another day of food for us. Tomorrow, it's not food. So we'll try and do something. And we will do that World Trucks thing another day. Mm. We'll try and do something on the next vlog that doesn't include as much food. Although, everybody goes to eat, Florida <laughs> and just has food. But um, we'll try and maybe do those things that our friend Sandra got Nick for his birthday. Oh shit, I've left him in the car. Well, yeah, but we'll be I need the car. address. We'll work out how long it's going to take to get there. Get down whether to it's, And whether it's open or not tomorrow. Let us know which food you enjoyed seeing the best. We've had quite, I was just thinking to myself, as I was coming back from car, I wonder how many calories we've had today. I know you're not. About 9,000. You're not really supposed to think about when you're on holiday, but um, I was just thinking it. I mean, that, that orange bird, humongous cookie in itself, would have been, I don't think that way. I'm, no, I, don't, I, I don't even wish to guess. I'm taking, that Disney, I'm taking that Disney t-shirt back anyway, because if it fits now, it won't when I've finished. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Come back and watch us for the next Florida video where we shall see what we get up to and go to different places. We're just going to wing it. Orlando. We're just going to wing it. Yeah, goodbye.